Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we are able to successfully add that portfolio. Now I want to do, I want to edit this portfolio and also want to update it. So it will be just like that before I have already done that type of one of the job. So now that will be very easy. So now let's do that work for doing this. That is in our action and there is an edit button, right? We have to edit it by a specific one of the ID. Now let's go to our all page that is a portfolio all page and here you can see that is edit before I use that as a multi image now I want to don't use it as a portfolio okay I make it as a edit portfolio so that will be as a edit sorry that will be as edit portfolio okay now I want to create it and also right now we are onto the for each loop if you want to get that ID you have to get it by the item and then I want to get our portfolio ID right our portfolio table and that is our ID field. Now I want to do, I want to get it. So if you want to get it, uh, we have to do, first of all, I want to check it. I have already inserted some of the data. You can see it's now successfully inserted all the data. Great. Now I want to get that our ID. So that is actually our ID. Now I want to create one of the route for this. Procedure will be just like that same. I copy it and then after that I paste it. Okay. So now our name, I name it as a edit portfolio and they have also one of the ID. Now I want to do, I want to take it, that will be as edit portfolio and then I want to update our route name will be as edit portfolio and also after that there should be one of the ID. Okay, I simply pass that ID. Perfect, I want to create one of the new method. I want to create another new method that will be as edit. Okay, edit portfolio, I copy it, I simply copy it. Now in our portfolio controller, so that is a portfolio controller here after this. I want to create another new method as a public and then function and then our edit portfolio. Okay. And into this edit portfolio here, also we have to do have to pass our requested ID. So I simply pass that our requested ID. So now if you want to get this data, what exactly you have to do? Uh, better I want to do, I take that variable. So that will be same. Better I copy it. And then now I want to do, I want to simply paste it. I simply take one of the variable as a portfolio. Now with our portfolio, we have to do, we have to find our specific ID, right? So if you want to find it, then our concept will be same. That will be as a find, find or fail method. So with this find or fail method, I want to do, I want to get our requested ID, right? So that will be our requested ID. I simply get it in here. Great. So I take it in our variable as a portfolio. Now we have to do, we have to pass it in our portfolio. I want to create another new page as a portfolio edit. Okay, portfolio edit. And then I pass, get our specific ID data, pass it in our portfolio edit page. Now we have to create edit page in our portfolio folder. Now, if you go to our view and there is a portfolio, I want to create another new file and here I want to click as a save as, I name it as a portfolio edit.blade.php. Okay, so perfect. So that page will be just like our add page. So from to the add page, I copy everything and now in our edit, I paste it. Okay, only we have to do, we have to display the value, right? So that will be a portfolio edit page. I make it as an edit page. And then that will be the portfolio only I want to, want to display one of the value, right? So that will be value. So if you want to display that value, what exactly you have to do? I have already get our portfolio a specific ID data. I take the things with this variable, I pass it and in our portfolio edit page. Now with this portfolio, I want to do and to visible it. So then that will be as a dollar and then portfolio, right? Dollar portfolio and our field name, our field name for the name. If you go to our structure, that will be the portfolio name, right? I want to do to access our portfolio name. Great. So now that is the same value. We have to add it in our portfolio title. I want to do and to paste it. Our field name for the portfolio title will be as a portfolio title. I copy it. So that will be as a portfolio title. Okay. That will be as a portfolio title. And then another one as a description. For the description, I want to do and to display the value directly. In our text area, into this text area, I want to do and to display it, our field name, our field name as a portfolio description. I copy it, so that will be as a portfolio description. Okay, and then the image, if you want to display that image, now you can actually display it. Um, that means our existing a specific ID images. So then that will be the same as the asset, and to this asset area here, that will be our same concept with the portfolio. I want to display it. So with this portfolio, I want to display our field name, our field name as a portfolio image, right? 
so then that will be the portfolio image i copy it so that will be portfolio image great so friend that's all okay that's all now that should be updated you know if you click the save all and now if you go to our page i want to refresh it and now if you put your cursor you can see it's not this a for edit portfolio four that is another one is a three two and then one now if you click as edit like right now that is you can see successfully display our edit <laughs> that means value as a react react laravel new course our description is visible and also our image is visible so now from to this position i want to do i want to update okay if you want to update our concept will be same i want to first of all update our menu that means our input field value will be as update okay that was update portfolio data okay so update portfolio data here also we have to pass our hidden id right input field i want to pass it so that will be input and type i make it as a hidden and name i name it as the id and then i want to pass that value uh, if you want to access it that will be same concept okay here that will be our portfolio with this portfolio i want to access our field name as a id field right so that will be our id field perfect i have already discussed about that things with you that is actually our id a specific requested id i have already get it from here with our find or fail method now i pass that our id perfect perfect now we have to do we have to create one of the route for this i make it as a update update portfolio now let's create it if you know go to our web now that will be another post method okay sorry i copy it and then that will be another post method and our url our url i name it as a update portfolio so that i copy it now that will be as a update portfolio okay update portfolio and then i name it as a update portfolio i want to create out the method as a update okay then that will be the update portfolio great now i want to do I want to create this method as a update portfolio method in our portfolio controller so now that is a portfolio controller here i want to do i want to create it so that will be the public and then function and update portfolio here i simply create it okay so perfect so now that will be uh, our one of the post method so for the reasons here we have to do have to pass that our request so that will be the request and then the dollar request okay i simply pass it so friend update i have already done this job if you go to our controller mm, put the about or home slider okay if you go to that our home slider you can see i have already updated that update slider so friend that will be just like that same okay that will be just like that same better but i copy the total method okay i copy this total method that is the and method simply copy it now in our post controller here better i want to update okay i simply paste it now that will be the same procedure our method will be as update portfolio i make it as a update portfolio request request id i name of the id okay i name of the id as a portfolio portfolio underscore id and our requested id means in our edit page i have already passed one of the hidden id so now i simply get it by this variable as a portfolio id and then our process is same that is our requested field name requested file name i name it as a portfolio hmm, portfolio image right so that is a portfolio image input field i name it as a portfolio image image request will be a portfolio image hexadecimal everything will be just like the same our image size image size i have already inserted as a this one right but i copy it i copy it and then now that will be the same i paste it okay our size will be as a 1020519 and save uploaded portfolio folder by the new name and save url will be as a portfolio great and then i want to do on to update right i want to update it if you want to update i want to update it in our portfolio table so you do the portfolio table find or fail our id our requested id i have already taken it by the name as a portfolio id and then that will be as update update will be our all that field and all that field i want to better copy from our portfolio okay i simply copy it right now we don't need this created that i copy it and now here i want to do and to paste it okay simply paste it that will be updated our portfolio database table and that is our requested table i have already checked it so that i hope it's very much clear to you 
portfolio title portfolio description portfolio images will be or save images perfect then it should be display it should be display as a portfolio it should be displayed as a portfolio uh, update with image perfect success everything will be same and then that will be written redirect to our route it will be written redirect to the our all portfolio okay and then that will be written redirect to the all portfolio i make it as a um, route so that will be the route our route name as a all portfolio then that will be written redirect to the all portfolio page all portfolio page means what that means if you go to our page that is which will be written redirect to our that is our all portfolio page right here it will be written redirect great and else else it should be up, upload without image everything will be same okay everything will be same i copy it everything that will be same only i want to do uh, uh, that will be remove that images only our field will be upload updated okay and then also again our return will be the same it will be written direct to the our all portfolio page it will be display on the message as a portfolio update without image successfully okay i hope friend you you already know what exactly the things you have to do in here so right now we successfully updated that part great so that this one is for with image and also another one as a else without image i simply remove that our image portion okay now let's check this out if you know click as a save all now i want to do i want to go there like right now there is a react i want to re edit it now i better i want to refresh it first i want to refresh it yeah there is a react and then react new course i want to make it as a react one one make it as a react one one okay react one one and then description i want to update as a one one and i want to do first of all i want to update our email field you can also update that images at a time so right now i want to check it update yes you can see portfolio update without image successfully so image is the same but our name is updated title is updated if you look at the edit now you can see our name is updated title is updated and also our description is updated right i want to do want to change that image also i want to do i want to change new image okay i want to change that new image like as a, this one i simply select it perfect and also if you want to change that again that name now to change that only name and then image now if you click as a update now that should be updated as a portfolio updated with image successful our name is updated our portfolio image is also successfully updated right great so i hope friend it's very much clear to you and our data table is also successfully working you know next video i want to do i want to delete it okay that will be the same process that i have done before so how can do this work you know next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video